about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be sitting down and taking a look at our March budget and seeing how we did for the month. So we're going to be doing our results, basically just comparing what we spent in all of our categories compared to our budget and seeing if we're over or under budget. I like to do this every single month. Um, for me, I feel like it doesn't work for us to just create a budget every month. We have to track our expenses and we need to kind of do this comparison to see how well we did for the month. Um, this month, specifically, was not our best month. And I wanted to just point that out there because if you are new and you are considering, you know, sticking around, following us through this budget journey, I want you to know that we don't normally have a ton of unbudgeted or unbudgeted or over budget items. I try my hardest to set realistic budgets. And so when it comes to groceries and eating out, those two categories are going to be significantly over budget this month and that is not the norm because I try and create my budget and create budgeted numbers that are realistic and manageable for our family and so although we are over this month that is not something that you know we do every single month so I just figured I'd mention that today I'm going to be using my Erin Condren monthly planner. This is the seven by nine version and I will have it linked down below. And then every sticker that you see in this book here will be from my Etsy shop. I do have a link down below. I have a Facebook page and I also have an Instagram account for my sticker shop. So if you want to check those out, definitely go do that. I haven't done my nails, so <laughs> try not to focus too much on that. I had all the greatest intentions to do my nails and then things just got crazy yesterday. So I apologize in advance for that. So let's go ahead and get right into it. <clears throat> so I already finalized my March budget for my business. And honestly, I don't really share a ton of business stuff because it's very boring. It's not, you know, there's not anything specific um, that would be interesting to share. Although I have to say that in March, I ended up replacing every printer that I have. I currently have six printers and I had to replace every single one of them which was really expensive, so that was kind of a bummer. But besides that, nothing too crazy in terms of expenses for my business. But that income will be up at the top. And then we did have some miscellaneous income, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in right now. So of course, I never budget anything for miscellaneous because in my mind, that just doesn't make a ton of sense. Um, unless I know something specific is coming, I don't budget anything for it. But like I said, we did have a few things that came in or a couple things that came in. So the first is our tax refund. We got $2,076 back. So that was a nice little chunk of change that we got back. And then we did get a medical reimbursement. That was $3,710. And we should actually be getting another one at some point. Uh, but that brings our miscellaneous income up to $2,113.10. So that is money that we did not budget. That's just over and above what we had coming in from my business. And it's always nice to have something like that come in because, again, I never expect it. Um, I always leave a space there just in case, but I definitely never, you know, factor that in. So... I like to use different colors in my planner, so you would normally see me use black in my planner. And I also have my red and green as well, because if anything is over budget, I do red. Anything that's under will be in green. The other thing that I did this month that's a little different is normally I would use some expense tracking stickers, um, specifically the blue ones for bills. But for some reason this month, I'm like, you know what? Why am I putting the sticker down when in reality it's only one, like there's only one transaction per bill. So it just doesn't make a ton of sense. So I wrote it in here instead. And I think I may continue to do that. I feel like the bill... Um, the bills would be nice if you cared or worried about the timing of them. I know the timing and the timing has been the same for the last five years that we've lived in our house or four years. 
So I don't really care so much about that. I honestly just more care about, you know, trying to accurately predict what the expenses are going to be. So let me zoom in and I can kind of explain what has happened. So in the beginning of the year, I created a 2021 budget. And when I did that, I did a really huge analysis of all of our utility bills. And I basically put together a little um, graph of all of our utilities from each month. And I got an idea of, you know, what were normal ups and downs with our utilities. So what I've been doing this year is I've been basing our utilities for each month off of last, last year's, like for example, last March's numbers. And then just obviously, of course, like increasing it slightly so that I can, you know, account for inflation, all that stuff. So as you can tell from our utilities this month, I was able to do it accurately enough that we're not over budget, which is kind of nice. I'd rather be more conservative and have it, um, you know, under budget rather than over budget. So our electric bill came in at 74.68. So that was 25.32 under budget. Gas was 73.19, so $6.81 under budget. And then cable ended up being 169.98. That was $5.02 under budget. Um, this is a cable and internet, so um, again, under budget, which is good. We also have cash dividers and sinking funds. Those are exactly the same every single um, month. Well, they're not exactly the same every month, but whatever we budget is what actually goes into them so there's never any over and under unless something changes and you know we end up putting more money into the cash dividers or sinking funds but for the most part those numbers are true to what we budget and then of course fixed expenses are always fixed um, i don't ever think that those are going to change throughout the month throughout the month which is why they're fixed so i do um check those just to be clear, like when our mortgage comes out, when our Netflix comes out, I do like verify that the numbers are truly these numbers, but I don't have to worry about paying them or anything. Most of these are just complete um, auto payments and all of that. So let's go, go ahead and get into our like variable expenses and figure out how we did. Like I mentioned, groceries and eating out, definitely a spot that was a little bit crazy this month. I mentioned this before, but we've been going through this process of like getting our house ready to sell and there's just so much that goes into it. I'm hoping to provide some type of an update on all of that pretty soon because I feel like I have not shared much at all. But with that, there's just so much and there's lots of points in time when we were not in our house or we were staying with someone so that, you know, certain things could get done with our house. And so it was just a little crazy, but I think, I think April is going to be a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at groceries first. So for the month, we budgeted $625 for groceries. Last time we checked in, if we leak if we look at week four, we had 173.51 remaining. So that means as of week four, anything that's checked off in pink in my monthly view would make up 451.49. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn to my monthly view and I'm going to take a look at what we recorded last, add in everything else and see how we did. So it looks like we had a bunch of transactions like Tuesday on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add all of those items to this 451.49 to see what it ends up being. So if I add 598 here, and I'm gonna check these off as I go so I know that I'm recording everything. 2573, 1847, 1362, 1159, 430, 94 cents, 2372. And then we went grocery shopping for the week, so we are all set for groceries and we're kind of back on track with meal planning and all of that. So 
and 161. So that brings us to a total of 682.21. So if we go to our budget page here, like I said, we had 625 budgeted. We spent 682.21, which means that we are over budget by $57.21. Honestly, guys, with the amount of stuff that we had going on this month, the fact that that's only over by $57 is insane to me. I feel like we did a pretty good job, even though we had a lot of things happen throughout the month. So again, not usual. I try and keep that like very low. Usually, you know, we budget per week because we go grocery shopping every week on Mondays. And so we get $125. So usually the $625 would be just fine. Okay, so now let's move on to eating out. So for eating out, we always get $200 for the month. Last time we checked in, we actually had $54.14 over, which means that at that point we spent $254.14. And then if we take a look at anything that we have spent so far, it looks like we just have two transactions. So $665 and $50.06. So I wanted to, before I like go ahead and record that, um, I wanted to talk about this for a second. So usually with weekly check-ins, the whole reason why I started doing the weekly check-ins was because I wanted to kind of get an idea of how we were doing at different intervals of time. So I didn't like you know, getting to the mid-month mark or even at the end of the month and being like, oh my goodness, how do we spend that much money on groceries or how do we spend that much on eating out? Because as you're going and like, you know, eating out or buying groceries, every week doesn't seem like it's that much. But then when you get to the end, you realize everything adds up and it ends up being so much more than what you thought. So doing the weekly check-ins help because you can see where you're at, what you have left over, and then you can make decisions. You can make decisions to, you know, really cut back if you're really close to, you know, exceeding your budget. Or you can say, you know what, we have a lot going on this month. We are just going to continue to eat out, continue to buy groceries or whatever it is, and we're okay with being a little bit over budget. And that's what we did. We took that step this month. Normally, I feel like what we would do is we would try and cut back. I would tell Jason, okay, we have $50 for groceries this week. Like, let's try and make it work. Let's try and like use what we have in our fridge or um, anything frozen. You know, let's just try and keep it cut back. Or for eating out, for example, we would use our allowances or maybe just not even eat out. This month was different, like I've mentioned a hundred times in this video, because we just had a lot of stuff going on. So we were trying to give ourselves some grace when it came to the budget and tried not to worry so much about the numbers and more just doing what was convenient for our family. Again, in April, I'm hoping that that's not so much the case, but I figured I'd mention that because sometimes people think of a budget and they think like, oh, it's so, you know, it's going to restrict me from the things that I want to do. And honestly, it's not. It's just, it gives you the opportunity to make decisions, I think. Um, and sometimes you make the decision that you're okay with being over budget. Sometimes you make the decision that you don't want to be, that your financial goals are more important for that month. And so you don't do certain things. But this month we spent $310.85 on eating out, which is obviously over budget. So that's over by $110.85. So again, in total, like less than 175 for, you know, over budget when it comes to groceries, eating out. Not bad in my book, honestly, when you consider all the stuff that we did this month. Like, honestly, it, it was just insane. The amount of just pure chaos has been insane. Next is going to be gas for our cars. So we have been budgeting 125 per week or sorry, per month. And last time we spoke, we had $7.99 remaining, which means that we spent $117.01 as of that point. We did fill up both cars, which means that obviously we are over budget when it comes to gas. So if we add in $35.25 and 
also 22.54. That brings us to 174.80. Um, so a couple of things with this. I've heard, I, I honestly don't pay a ton of attention to like news or anything like that. I feel like I, I just, I hear enough of bad stuff that I don't, I don't want to um, participate in it all. But I do get a lot of information from Jason. He fills me in on everything. So apparently gas prices have been going up. I think that's kind of like a common thing that people have been noticing. And I, it's kind of normal with the summertime coming and everything like that. But anyway, I've heard that. But also we've been doing a lot of driving, a lot more driving than normal. So we are over budget by $49.80 for gas for our cars. And I left it at $125 because honestly, I think $125 is a good number for us. But if next month we are also over budget when it comes to gas, then we will reevaluate and maybe bump it up to 150. Again, I don't think the 174 is normal for us. I think we did a lot of extra driving this month. Okay, next is household. So for household, I budgeted 150 for the month and we had 6507 remaining as of the last week that we checked in. I think we did have a few items that we spent. So if we add $19.99 from Costco and then $19.37 from Target, that brings us to $124.29. So we're still under budget there, which is awesome. I did decrease this next month because I don't think we'll need $150 but it is nice that we are under budget. So we are under budget by $25 and 71 cents. And then for unbudgeted, we had nothing. We had no unbudgeted items, which is crazy considering again, how insane this month was. So I'm really glad about that. So I'm gonna go ahead, add up all of my actuals and see if we're under or over for the month when it comes to our expenses. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these up. This is kind of like the moment of truth. So 74, 68, 73, 19, 169, 98, 682, 21, 310, 85, 174, 80, 124, 29, 330, 1640. That brings us to, wow, that's an even number. That's insane. <laughs> so 3,000. $580. And I'm going to go ahead and just add that up one more time just to be sure. Because I have done this so many times and I always realize that I mess something up. And I have you guys like screaming at me <laughs> in the comments. So let's see. 3580. Okay. And then if we look at what we were over and under, I'm going to do all the negatives first and then subtract out the positives because I know it's going to be over. So 55 or sorry, 57, 21, 110, 85, 49, 80 minus 25, 32 minus 681 minus 502 and minus 25, 71 brings us to over budget of 155. And if we do 3580 minus 3425, that's 155. So that was honestly super easy, which is always nice. But again, I try and stress that like the funny thing is about this is I keep saying like this is not normal month for us. We try and stick to our budget. But considering the fact that like this month has been insane for us, we have spent like weekends not at our house getting stuff ready um we've had a lot of stuff go on and considering the fact that we're over budget by only 155 dollars that is insane to me that means that we actually did pretty well given all of the craziness and when you factor in the fact that we also had a bunch of extra income come in we did pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I am not going to close out my sinking funds today because I need to get this video up for you guys. Um, but definitely check out my week one check-in and you guys will kind of see what's happening with our sinking funds, what our beginning balances are for April because I'll go ahead and close those out for March. 
bring our beginning balance over to April and kind of go forward from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, getting to see how we did for the month. Again, I hope that April is a better month for us with life stuff, but also financially because my goodness has a lot happened in the last like week or so but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know how you guys did for march did you feel like you stuck to your budget really well did you accomplish any financial goals this month let me know down below and i will see you guys next time About bye guys leave. already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't